Hello guys, in this video we'll be exploring the autosomal DNA, so the predicted phenotype traits and GT match results of a male bonobo from Penn State University. Now bonobos are sometimes called pygmy chimpanzee, why is that? The reason they're called pygmy chimpanzee is that they're actually very little in size and they weight, uh, generally a bonobo male weighs only 39 kilograms. Bonobos and chimps are closely related and they both live in Central Africa. Um, bonobos live in the Democratic Republic of Congo, whereas chimps live kind of, they have a more diverse environment. And there is a difference between bonobos and chimps, and it's a very big difference in behavior. Uh, bonobos are actually very empathetic and uh, pro-social, whereas the chimps are very anti-social, very uh, sociopathic. Now, this is his predicted phenotype with Maina Shakot. Uh, he did not have any of the variants for light pigmentation, but Maina Shakot still predicts him to have blonde hair. Uh, because it's it's the shortcomings of my tool, right? It, it's not able to impute a lot of the genotypes because the, the file was just so low quality. So that's why it gave him this kind of a prediction. And YSEC is going to give him a prediction like this too. So it's just, it's the shortcomings of the tool. Uh, but he did not have any light pigmentation variants. And in fact, he did not even have the TIRP1 variant uh, that, um, that Shimp and Gorilla had that for light pigmentation. He was more similar to Orangutan Baboon and not very similar to Gorilla and Chimp when it comes to this variant in TIRP1. He had this uh, rare genotype that increases the risk of autism in uh, humans, maybe not in chimps or bonobos, and um, he also had this genotype that increases the risk of Alzheimer's and increases LDL cholesterol, and he had another genotype that increases uh, the duration of sleep. Now, when it comes to DRD2, he was not genotyped for any of the major variants in DRD2 that I look for, but he was genotyped for a variant in another gene that's sort of related to this, green 3 a and here he has the uh, val, val genotype, which is kind of like the warrior gene, so this would be, uh, this would correlate to the warrior gene in uh, COMT. When it comes to polygenic traits, he has an average risk score for Parkinson's disease, um, he has a very low risk score for body height. I don't know what that means. Uh, does it mean he's very tall or does it mean he's very short? Probably very short because, you know, bonobos are very short. He has an average risk score for asthma and he has a pretty low risk score for type 2 diabetes. This is what he scores with GD matches MDLPK23B, 100% archaic human. And this is a typical score for any kind of monkey, gorilla, chimp, orangutan, they all score this category. Um, now, with Eurogenes K13, he's scoring mostly Sub-Saharan African, in fact, he's not really scoring anything outside of Sub-Saharan African or Northeast African or Oceanian, and with the Oracle here, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Biaka Pygmy plus Papuan or Melanesian. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K36, a pretty typical result for any kind of monkey or even a Neanderthal, mostly scoring Pygmy here, as do all of the other uh, archaic humans and monkeys. And with MDLPK16, he's mostly scoring Ancestor. And Ancestor is a very interesting group here because Neanderthal was scoring it, Denisovan was scoring it, and all kinds of monkeys mostly score this group. Uh, now, with the Oracle, he's actually closest to Juhuan, North people of Ju Juhuan people who are Hoisan people in South Africa. That's because they are, they have the most of this ancestral Ancestor component with this calculator. And we see more of the same with G25, so I actually simulated G25 coordinates for the sample, which will be in the description, uh, using raw to sim uh, G25 tool from Explore Your DNA. And with G25, he's actually also closest to these Johuan people, these Hoisan people in South Africa. This is what he is scoring with Ifeo Helix K10. He's mostly scoring Hoisan here, which is kind of the gorilla slash Neanderthal slash Denisova component. Interestingly, he's not scoring much Mbuti Pygmy, which is more of the chimp component, right? Uh, but uh, he is most similar to chimps, I'll show you later. Uh, with Gidrosia K3, he's um, scoring mostly Sub-Saharan African, which is not so surprising for any kind of monkey. And here I decided to compare his file to various other monkeys I made videos on. Uh, as you can see, he is least asimilar to, which means most related to Clint the chimp, uh, followed by Katie the gorilla, followed by Kiki the orangutan, and last uh, at last place comes Baboon. So now thanks for watching until the end. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content, and um, you can download the sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description.